The national carrier Kenya Airways is expanding its wings after it opened a new route. KQ has partnered with two airlines with a view of enhancing its business further in the Indian Ocean. KTN's farmer Mohammed has just landed from Antananarivo and brings us the following report. Kenya Airways has launched a partnership with Air Austral and Air Madagascar. KQ's CEO Sebastian Minko signed the Memorandum of Understanding last week, adding the partnership by the three companies will lay the foundations for further new corporations and keep the ambition to boost their footprints in Africa and the Indian Oceans alive. The partnership with airlines, generally speaking, when we speak about cultures, for example, allows us to grow the network and offer for our passengers without flying to certain destinations. I believe that the shortest route from Antananarivo to New York will be through Nairobi. In the same way, I'm absolutely sure that the shortest way from Mauritius to, Nair to New York goes through Nairobi. So that's really strengthened our, our position on this, uh, on this uh, longest flight we're going to have. KQ is looking to enhance growth through Nairobi and allow customers easy access to the Indian Ocean Islands, as well as transport from Madagascar abroad. Once Kenya Airways launches their one-way stop from Nairobi to New York, it will be the fastest route for Air Austral and Air Madagascar customers to the U.S. Air Madagascar is right now under a recovery process after a long period of, uh, I would say, catastrophic operations. This partnership will give us the possibility, you know, to expand our uh, offer to our customers. Uh, signing a partnership with uh, Kenya Airways, which is for us one of the biggest company in all Africa, it's a way to link uh, the center of Africa, the western part of Africa, and the Indian Ocean. This is the first of many partnerships Kenya Airways is creating in order to provide corporate and leisure travel for their customers within the Indian Ocean and abroad. Fahmo Mohammed, KTN News, and Tananarivo.